Hello and welcome back. Today we're going to take a look at how to share files between projects as links instead of direct references or as direct copies. This is something that I've needed to do for a long time. It wasn't until relatively recently I figured out how to do it. In the past I've actually had the same file in multiple projects but I've had to maintain them all. A, a very common scenario for this are like things like app.configs. So I've got all these app.config files and they're all the same right now. But they're three separate instances. If I need to make changes or add things to them, I've got them in three separate locations, so I have to make sure I update all three of them. It's just a royal pain. And this thing, all this also works for things like structure map config or any other configuration files. It actually can be used for assembly info files as well, just so you can very simply have versioning across all your assemblies. This is actually a fairly practical and a fairly convenient thing to do. And it's something that I recommend everybody does. It'll just save themselves time and energy. Now, in order to do this, what I like to do is take my common files. In this case, it's going to be my app config file. And copy that and actually put it into a folder on its own. So it's outside of the projects that are going to reference it. That way, no one project kind of owns it. And I tend to create something called like a solution files folder. I'm going to go ahead and paste that in there. You can see I've already done this with my structure map config file. So after we've added that to our common folder, let's go ahead and add it to our solution in a common location. I like to do this by using solution folders. Solution folders are a very cool little tool built into the Visual Studio. It allows you to very logically and very simply group like items together. You can actually put projects inside of there and do numerous different things. I like it for common files. So I'm going to go ahead and add, rough, add this file to it. So do add existing item. And I'm going to navigate to my solutions file folder, click app config, go ahead and click add. And there you go. I've got my app config file I just added. Let's close this window. Now that's there. Well, let's go ahead and delete the app config from all the other solutions because, well, I don't want them anymore. And let's go ahead and add, add it back, but this time add it as a reference. So again, right click, add existing item. Now remember I put this in my solution file folder, so let's go ahead and navigate to that. It may by default open up to show you objects of only C-sharp types. If that's the case, go ahead and make sure you go ahead and go down to all files. Choose app config, click add. Wait a minute, what happened? It didn't add it as a reference. Oh, I know what I did. Let's go ahead and delete that. Try this again. Click add. Hey, notice this little arrow here. I'm sure that most people have kind of glossed over that over the years and not really paid attention to it there. I know I did. Let's click that little arrow and see what happens. Well, hey, it gives me two other options. Add, which is no different than clicking the button directly, and add as link. Add as link is actually what I'm looking for in this scenario, so let's go ahead and click that. And when I do add as link, you'll notice that it actually pops a little icon next to it. That tells me it's a link instead of a direct reference. Let's go ahead and do this again in this other folder so I can demonstrate something real quick. Now you'll know that it's a link versus a real copy or a copy or instance of the copy. By If you double click on one of them and try double click the other, you'll get this dialog right here. Already opened by another project. Basically, it's telling you that somebody else is already modifying this file and you can't modify it. So that's actually a good thing. It tells me that's a reference instead of a, it's a link instead of a direct reference. Now, another sharper error. You'll notice I've been a bad little developer here. My structure map config is actually a real instance. Let's go ahead and delete that one as well. And let's re reference that one. So there you go. What do we learn today? Well, we've learned it's very simple and very easy to save ourselves time and energy by consolidating all of our configs into one file, into one location, so we don't have to modify them one time. Now, obviously, this won't work in all scenarios. There's entirely, it's entirely possible that the config files need to change based on the assemblies or based on the projects. And you'll notice I can't do that for my web config because it's not a app.config, it's a web.config, so I really can't do that, and it doesn't make sense to move it into another directory. So this may not always work for you, but it may work quite often, and when it does, you'll find it actually saves you time and saves you energy. I'm going to go ahead and add one more, cop one more reference so I don't forget later. 
And there you go. So I've added, I've replaced all my app configs with, with links instead of direct references. And now I'm good to go. So hope you can find this useful. And I hope that in the future, instead of creating multiple copies, you decide to do it as a link. Well, hope you learned something.